comfortable. Okay. One of them we're going to put more guts in it, but I think this one's complete. I do like that thicker landing board in the front. Yeah. You can use it as a grip. That other one was a little. I don't know if we can get it on there. How strong is that tailgate? I think it's pretty good. We sit on it. Well, if you sit on it, that, yeah, that, that's, that's no problem for that hive then. That's it. I don't know when we can get another one on there. <laughs> Unless you want to set it flat on top. But I mean, you want to take another one now or you want to? There's another point excluder. So that's just pieces and parts to make out one of those whole. There's more parts in there than we need, but it'll okay. it'll finish it out. Okay, so you want to do the three in the hut, and then come back and do the one that freestanding separate. That sounds good. Okay, let's do that. And we're good. Right. We're good. Yeah. Now you hadn't aggravated the bees and teased them this morning so that they're. Not this morning, but yesterday I did. Oh. I said he's coming. <laughs> he, gets you, he gets you excited. Oh. <laughs> Remind me to show you the miniature hives. That I've got that I picked up this weekend. Okay. With a CNC machine, yeah. author's got everything programmed in. We can do this with an AZ hive. Really? That, that's cool. I'm holding on. I'm good. You're not throwing me off this morning. I'm good. Okay, we're good. What's the first plan? How do I help? Do we suit up now? Because they're loose. That's the one that's dead. Or the queen's not there anymore. And so we were taking it out and we got them really agitated yesterday. And so we just put them back in, didn't put the screen on. And he was convinced there's no brood, there's no queen in there. Who is he? Um, H Honeybee Healthy, Bob from okay. Honeybee Healthy. Okay. Okay. And so because it was agitated, he said, let's just get the frames back in, close it up. Don't worry about that one. Let's check these two. These two had brood, didn't see the queen, um, but he, he felt both of these were still active okay. and good. And when did you do your last mic count? A month ago. Okay. And here I, I have it. So I have it we'll to do show. that again. So my thoughts were to work those two first and then come back to this for the third one. Oh, you still got them in there. Yeah. Fifteen, sixteen, but what did you count about sixteen? I had it at thirteen, but okay. So some of those may not be okay. Thirteen with three hundred bees. Ish. Okay. Yeah, ish. It it's a, ish. Yeah. yeah, it's always an ish. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, well, let's con just switch them over. We can do the mic count after that. Okay. What happened to the doors? storm okay okay yeah. okay um let's start with the one on the end okay. and we'll switch out um are we gonna need to get this going uh 
Yeah, but I'm, we're going we're gonna to need to pull that one out and put the other one in that spot and then... And then move it. So do you want to pull it out and put it on the back of this as opposed to putting it down on the ground? Do we have a, something, a block? Got a couple of blocks? Blocks like, you mean like center so, blocks? Yeah. How, how strong is that? What about the drawer? I have a table. I got a table. It's a plastic table. Yeah. But I got a plastic table. No, I don't think table. How is it full? It's I think the, Yeah. They yeah. haven't done we didn't get any honey up here, but you want to put two chairs together and sell them on the chairs for now? Yeah. I don't know if it'll hold. I'm 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 scared of the weight. Have you been sitting in those chairs? <laughs> that's funny. Because that's got to weigh like 250. <laughs> oh boy, here we go, Rudy. <laughs> we can try it. Um, now it has the, uh, it's got the broodminder scale underneath it. Okay, so we got we can't just slide it. We're going we to might be able to slide it because it's on a two by four in that scale. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, what we're going to do is, my thoughts are to get one of us to pull this side, and when it comes out. Two of us get the other side and kind of work it out because whoever gets that in is not going to be able to grab it like they can here. We can, the person who gets it here can hold it here and go that way. And when we pull it forward, somebody's going to have to grab each corner. Maybe we set it on two of these together, set it here. Okay. You think it'll ride on? Yeah, that's probably best. I'm going to, let me close it up just a second here. Oh, jeez. Got any tape? What kind of tape in here? Oh, this will work. I'm just looking for a plug. Oh. When I'm picking the thing up, I want to kind of seal them in for a minute. Okay, you got a bird nest on top here. What? Probably with a rat's nest. Hang on. Let me. How much room do you think we're going to need that? Can you? I can't get it. Get. Good. Now if we could turn it around. Oh well. Oh, yeah. Because we're gonna pull frames out of the back you get it? and go straight Close. in here. Close. He's testing me out. It's all good. So wait, you want to? Well, well, two of us pick it up. The other two, and then we'll just. Walk it around here. What do you want me to do? Pull the chair back. Now bring the chair back in. You under it? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Smoker? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Always have the smoker ready. Well, we don't need any frames. We won't need any frames in this one because we're moving them out of that. So we just need That's empty right. boxes. That's right. So of course, it may have been easy to grab the other one. Well, yeah. we still have some. Yeah, we got to use both of them. So. At what point do uh, you think we ought to put the suits on? Uh, before we start pulling frames out. Okay. And for our guest that's standing out here, you may want to step back and do a long range shoot. <laughs> At what point do you want to go through the features of the new hive? Um, I guess as we're you know, doing as it we're, over there, moving frames in and out. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, we do that. Probably. And I'll ask when I see things that are different than the original one. I'm 
I'm just going to leave the, the, the mite tray in the bottom just so that's a void that less place for them to go hide. Mm -hmm. So, well, how do you have it set up now with the queen excluder on the top rail? The queen excluder is on the top. Okay. Yeah. So we can just leave it the way it is and set it in like that. Uh, we can take the door off. Well, hey, help me understand what, what all the new features are here. Okay. So here's your queen excluder. Yep. And we're going to keep it in the top. Keep, it the, keep the queen excluder in the top. The biggest difference you're going to see is there's thinner. The, the, the no. earlier, earlier versions had a three-quarter board here. The queen excluder set in, recessed inside that. The same way with the slotted rack did the same thing. And the solid bottom board did the same thing. The division board did the same thing. Mm -hmm. So As what, a was result, the, what was the thinking behind the... Because the, the thinking yeah. was, but thinning this up would gain space at the bottom. As a result of gaining space at the bottom, the new feature this year is you got a screen bottom board that slides in and out. And then as a result of that, you can use for small hive beetles, that allows you to use a west tray or a, mm -hmm. it's an oil tray for hive beetles. So small you put hive oil beetles. down in here. Put oil down in the bottom of this. Um, it, it traps the hive beetles. When the, the beetles go to their larva state, they got to mm -hmm. go down into the ground, into the soil and pupate. Mm -hmm. When they go down, they go into the oil, they drown in the oil. And they'll be able to get through here? They'll fall through the screen bottom board. Okay. Screen so bottom when, boards are also common for, uh, for integrated pest management for your mites because the mites will fall through that as well. Thoughts are they'll fall through that, fall through this, go in the oil, oil and they die. Okay, so by making this thinner and this thinner, you were able to gain. Here, and so did you take, you took out that board that had the little metal ring on it? You took these out? Yes. Okay, so you took these out, made that thinner, made that thinner, yep. gained the space at the bottom. Because on this, you know, you're, your the uh, queen excluder, your division board, and your uh, separation board all set mm -hmm. down in that, recessed mm -hmm. in that. So we just went to the thickness of those. That allowed a full off-the-shelf queen excluder to be used. Didn't have to be custom made for that. That's great. So it simplified that aspect. Yeah. The other big feature that you'll see on the hive, which is, I think is great, is no, everything went to 15 sixteenths where you had three quarter inch lumber before. So your R factor, your insulation factor is a little thicker. Okay, yeah, it does look thicker. So the interior dimensions are the same. Exterior dimensions grew a little bit because you, you went from three quarters to 15 mm -hmm. sixteenths. And, but, and the, the, the thought of that was just insulation or was there No, it was, this wood is manufactured for uh, furniture. So this is more durable. Durable, and the furniture industry went to 15 sixteenths mm -hmm. and three quarters would be a special order. Got it. We gained both ways. We yeah. didn't have to special order and we gained insulation. Yeah. But the, of course, this is 15 16 as well. The mm -hmm. cleats are still on the inside and on the front of the hive like normal. Mm -hmm. But the attachment now, and it's going to be a little funky because I don't have frames in. Mm -hmm. But we went from the cams, which were on the sides, right. had screws in, and then it had a friction point on the side of the hive. Right. Eventually, that is going to dig into the side of the hive. Yes. So you're talking, you're talking these. Yep. So they, yep. they dig into the side. They dig inside. The screws wallow out eventually. Uh -huh. And so durability of that is a shorter life than this. Mm -hmm. You got the slots on the side here. Mm -hmm. The bars we were already using because that's what the frames were sitting on. So this comes in, sits like that, holds it Brilliant. Screen in place. Brilliant. Simplified it. I mean, you might get a teenage boy that can bend this or do something, make a gun or a hit stick or, you know, thump somebody on the head with. But other than that, it, I mean, it's durable. You're not going to, I mean, that's... Yeah, no, I, I, I like that. I think that that's a... Because we already had a couple where, you know, one wouldn't hold quite as much because yep. we had worn kind of a groove in there. So I think that's... These are great. Whose ideas were these? Going back to Mike and Arthur, they're the brainstorms behind this stuff. The other benefit of, of having the space in the bottom is when you do your treatment. Uh -huh. We were treating by pulling the feeder out of the bottom and then putting your wand or your, your uh, right. heat treating on the, on the bottom side. Now you can, you can do that without 
access it without the bees being able to, uh, to come oh, out of the hive. Oh, you don't even have to open so the chambers. You have no act. They have, the bees have no access to you while you're doing treatment. So they. That's they can, brilliant. So you don't even need your suit. So where does the feeder go now? Here. We're going to kind of fill some up. You'll notice a slight difference in the two board, the two screens right mm -hmm. now. This one's got a groove on the bottom, so. That sets in. So. Again, I don't have frames in it, so it, mm -hmm. so it, may, pushes fall, in. it may fall forward. But it locks in there. Mm -hmm. Slight variation of the feeder, but mm -hmm. I mean, it still fits in, does the same thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Unreal. Those are such simple but brilliant changes to it. So, queen excluder, queen can't get through here, so this becomes your super. Yep. Uh, this one here is just a division Brood chamber. board. Yep. Yeah. Brood chamber. Well, and that's not, uh, this is not a division board, this is a slotted board. So they, they can put brood in both, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Division board would be the one that's solid so they can't right. pass through. Right. And so that would be this same thing, just without the grooves. Yes. So if you want to keep them in just the bottom. Boom. And your and your kit comes with all three. Yeah. It comes the queen excluder, the slotted board, and the solid board. I, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I wouldn't have thought of any of that stuff, but you know, when you peel it back, it's like that makes so much sense. And how you were able to make the decision to grab a little bit of space here to put that in, because these are standard. These are in, that's, these are, so you had to go to that space. That's straight out of the Dedant catalog. Or, or you had to manufacture a completely new track. Yeah. Correct. Straight out of the Dedant catalog. Brilliant. That's gotta be a hot seller. I mean, it yeah. solves all the, well, all the problems for a beekeeper. At the North Carolina state meeting, which I just came from. Uh -huh. the, like uh, the, eight hours ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah ended three o'clock Saturday afternoon. Um, he's a bee inspector for the state of Virginia. Mm -hmm. His big topic is hive beetles. He was just absolutely fascinated by this. He kept coming by bringing people by the booth just to show them that feature on that. That is great. And what kind of oil do you put down in there? Uh, you use olive oil or mineral oil. Okay. Um, mineral oil is probably, you can use it. It's, Anything that'll stay liquid. Mm -hmm. uh, it gets cold, it's going to solidify some. Right. Olive oil specifically. Mineral oil is a little slower to get thicker that way, but uh, any of that will work down there. And then how often do you empty that? I mean, do you do it by sight? Like there's yeah, enough yeah, in there? Yeah, just by sight. Yeah, okay. just by sight. So you check yours how often? Not every hive inspection. You know, mm -hmm. never. No, it depends on if I'm seeing signs of beetles, mm -hmm. then I'm looking down there to see if I'm seeing larvae. Everybody's got beetles. There's very few places in North America you don't have beetles. Just to how, if they're able to be controlled and, and right. how they're being managed. Right, right. All right, so let me get the scale out of there so that, because this is the same height. Same height, just slightly half. wider. Actually, half inch taller. Yes, it is. It's a half inch taller. Yes, I forgot about that. It's a half inch it's taller. It's a half inch taller, yes. Because but it, of the thicker wood? Because of the yeah. thickness of the wood, correct. But it it slid into, oh, and you got a half inch. Well, so it'll be small. Well, we had the, we had the space the, to. Okay, yeah. Off the ground. Yeah. For oh, the, yeah. Uh, oh, that, the, the, the brood miner. Yeah. Okay, so I, I've never done anything like this before. I have no idea. Um, I'm here as labor. You just guide me on okay. what I need to do. And Pick tell up me that when side. I need to put my suit on. Don't, don't leave that part out. When I put my suit on, you put yours on. Okay, but the thing... Oh, oh last time I didn't put a suit on, that's right. <laughs> and we have all these pictures of you being courageous and... So, okay, now's the time to put the mite, mite. Uh, the, the brood miter under the bottom. Well, I don't think it'll fit now. Well, let's try it. Let's just try it. Okay. If it'll fit, now's the time to do it before we get the weight in exactly. it. And you notice wow. I took the door off, I took the do shims, I took everything out so that I could take. Later. Yes. Later. Yeah. I'm not as strong as you are. Oh, right. <laughs> How's that? Look. Then you're here at the, yeah. It's, it's not going to work. 
for maybe an eighth of an inch shy of it. How is that? It's close, isn't it? Yeah, hang on. How much room do you have? I don't have much here, Steve. I have about a quarter of an inch. Yeah, okay. Let's try it one more time, Brad. Now he's talking to modify his product for your design. And it's, it's still, how, it's, how close? We gotta be this. Oh, yeah, it's a lot. Oh, quarter inch. We can't get that. Okay, is that where it needs to be there, Mike? On the front? Uh, yeah, you look good. That's good? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, in a way, with all the work we're doing, it's kind of good that the doors are removed for now. Oh, yeah, that these doors yeah, are? Yeah, it helps yeah, a little bit. I'm not sure if removing them this way was the right thing to do. But yeah. <coughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I would really want to have it fixed before you got here, but it wasn't going to happen. It's, it's always good to see the evidence of your, your endeavors. <laughs> My handiwork. <laughs> okay, now's the time you want to suit up. Okay. <coughs> Helmet and put the helmet. 